Lord forgive me for the solo queue games I'm about to ruin, but if you haven't heard, Lee Sin, he's not a jungler anymore, he's a solo laner. Um, some of the best laners in the world have discovered that he's actually best suited for mid and top lane rather than the jungle. His base stats are incredibly high, he doesn't really lose many matchups. The problem is, guys, you need to be very skilled to make Lee Sin work in the solo lane. So, you know, if you're a silver player and, and you're thinking to yourself, maybe I'll try this Lee Sin pick out, probably don't do it. You're probably not going to have the results. If you're not Caps, like who we're reviewing today, or Perks, who's also been spamming plenty of Lee Sin in the mid lane, I don't really know. I think hold back on the Lee Sin spam. But without further ado, today's enjoyable game is going to be Caps in the mid lane with some Lee Sin. Jumping onto the rift now, the matchup is up against a Kiana in the mid lane. Caps running the Ignite. The rune page, guys, down the bottom left, it's a Conqueror setup. Um, everything's pretty stock standard. The secondary is Shield Bash is very important to note. Um, not only are you getting extra armor and magic resist when you use your W, but you're also getting some extra damage, um, extra physical damage onto your opponent. So this definitely works out in Lee Sin's favor. And you can just see, even from level one, from the get go, Lee Sin is absolutely just the king of the lane. His base stats are incredibly high. If you compare his base stats against Kiana's, like he's got 89 AD, 42 armor, 32 magic resist. Kiana's got 87 AD, 28 armor, 40 magic resist, less attack speed, 10 base, less movement speed. Um, it is just disgusting how good Lee Sin is for these, well equipped for these solo lanes. And into something like a Kiana, it's just, the Lee Sin should absolutely decimate the lane. And you can see Kiana doesn't want to take a single bad trade as caps. We'll get the shove on. And if there's a champion in the mid lane that like I want to see caps play, it's like it's something like this Lee Sin. It's just so well equipped to who he is, his play style. As he doesn't go Q early, by the way, if you take note, guys, he's got his W and he's got his E. And this fiddlestick looks like he wants to wrap around for a gank. Good luck. And caps just moves out of the way. Will we see this pick at MSI? Maybe. I've seen Perk's been playing a lot of it, but at the end of the day, it's one of those champions where it's like, okay, you need to, like, champions like Zed, champions like potentially Lee Sin, don't get picked that often anymore in pro, in pro play. You've got to really play it to the perfect skill ceiling um, on stage, which is, like, obviously another beast of its own. You've got to conquer a lot of nerves to go for these plays. doesn't get picked as often as I'd like, but... Who knows, man? Look at this Kiana, just absolutely slowly losing out on these trades. Q lands. Takes the Q, W's out of the range. Kiana moves in. And like, you're just not going to lose. You just have too much in your kit to lose these 1v1s, okay? A champion that probably you will struggle against is something like an Orianna, right? Maybe an Anivia where they have a lot of CC, they have a lot of range advantage. The, th the thing is, guys, you just play back, you play safe, level 6, you have your kick, you get your kick ward, your, your ward kick, put them back into your jungle, into your team, and you're going to kill them. It's pretty simple. Lethality setup is common um, for a snowball, and then like a more bruisier, gore drinker type setup is common for the top lane, um, if you don't get quite such a lead in the early game. But, good start from Caps, you can see why this Lee Sin is so prominent in solo lanes at the moment. And I don't know why, I don't like, Lee Sin is not that bad in the jungle. It just seems like he gets out cleared by these junglers like the Hecarim, like the Udyr, um, like Lilia. Like, he just doesn't seem to be able to keep up. So that if his ganks fail, it just feels like he falls behind a level or two and has no real control of the game. Which is unfortunate, but that just seems what like how the jungle is at the moment. What other champions in the jungle at the moment? Rumble, like he just can't keep up. I don't know, his clear speed doesn't seem the greatest. And if he gets behind on levels, you're going to have a bad time. The great thing about solo lane is you can just pretty much guarantee you're going to be one of the highest, if not the highest level in the game. Perhaps get some vision out. Would be nice to have a couple of control wards. Probably max by control wards on every base if you can. As we look for this trade, Fiddle's here though. Fiddle flashes in with the fear. You're not going to kill him. Too tanky, too beefy. He'll be able to sustain back plenty of health with his W as well. As the enemy team comes across for the dragon, they have full bot lane prior. 
Caps has sustain, man. Like, his W, right? You're getting lifesteal. Caps has kick. Doesn't have flash. Let's see how he plays it. Goes through. He waits the fear out. Gets knocked up. Beautiful kick there. And look at this damage, man. Like, it's actually gross, hey? Look for one more. Does he slap him? Boom. Grabs the Rakan for himself. And what a tremendous start. For a spectacular Lee Sin mid game. Coming back into lane now, he's working his way towards the Eclipse, which is the most common uh, lethality item for Lee Sin's. If you are, now, I, like, look, be careful. But if you're feeling a little bit tricky, Prowler's Claw could do you a little bit of favors. Duskblade, you go for a really aggressive lethality item if you want. Um, Eclipse, un like, Eclipse is the safest option, guys. You're getting so much sustain. You're getting a huge shield off as well in your combos. Like, it's the no-brainer. But Prowler's Claw into Ward, into Kickback. I'm getting Kiana-type vibes with these massive combos you can be doing. Um, so just take, in, just take note, you know. The thing is, Caps is not doing it. So, I mean, in our gold games, shall we do it? Probably not. As you can see, this Kiana is honestly just giving up on life. 30 farm to 60 in the mid lane. Down on levels. Down on life as we pick up a plate for ourselves. What else would be a bad matchup? I'm thinking like Lissandra. Probably pretty bad for Lisa to deal with. Malzaha. Any type of hard CC is probably not a good time. But you can always counter it. With some Merc Treads and some Tenacity. As I want to see another solo. I want to see him get a beautiful kick with this Ignite. <laughs> You're actually not allowed to lane. This is crazy. Almost, he got what, full two level advantage on the Kiana. As Kiana just going to look for a coin flip roam. Typical. May actually, you know, the sickening part is that these roams actually work in solo queue. It's so dumb. It's so stupid that these roams work. Because you've telegraphed them like 12 days before. Like, uh, this is what you guys need to do. If you can't win your lane, if you've got some loser playing Lease in mid, oh my god, nice, I can't kill you. Hey, guess what? I'm a coin flip roaming bot. If it works, it works. And they're going to pull back a bit with that. As Caps is just stuck in the mid lane. He's not stuck in the mid lane. I mean, he can go wherever he pleases. He's just choosing to sit in the mid lane because it's a safe option. Farming up a storm and getting a huge XP lead. Yana, however, a nice little roam. The riskiness pays off. As interestingly, he puts points into the E second rather than the W. Looking for a little bit of increased wave clear. Caps' flash coming up in the next one minute. I want to see a freaky combo if we could. Oh, Kiana. Such a sad, like, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a shame that G2 didn't make MSI. No, like, I don't want to put any shade onto Mad Lions. I like Mad Lions. But just having, like, the perks, you know, versus the Caps matchups. Just having, like, that extra, you know, Reckless, Yankos, the boys. I don't know, man. Ugh. I like seeing them compete internationally. And it kind of feels... A competition without, like... For me, now, it's like... Now that Bjergsen's gone, like, a competition without, like, perks and Faker. Sorry, like, without Caps and Faker. I don't know... This doesn't have that same feeling for me. It's still going to be fun. Just missing a couple of them key ingredients that makes the tournament so fun. That's why I'm always looking forward to Worlds. As we finish our clips and we walk down into the river here, trying to hunt out the Kiana. Ooh, 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 ooh. Q lands. You'll wait the Blast Cone. Oh, but the Kiana actually gets out of range. Here comes the Gwen. And just one taps the Kiana. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, but the Rakan moving in. Great ultimate by Tristana. Ezreal goes through two. Thank God. 
The numbers are ridiculous, aren't they? As we get our 2.5k gold lead now for red side. And we have double the Kiana CS as we keep on looking for these plates. Before, of course, the 14 minutes when they crack away. Just jump. Ooh, Lee Sin comes in. Here we go, here we go. Kiana. Beautiful shutdown. Caps playing a little bit too greedy. And gets picked off. Ekrim's going to make his way in. Dragon is spawning. Ekrim, no ultimate. Tristana Flash is in here. Yeah, I don't know if they can get this. Huge stun by the Kiana. Nice, man. I'm actually impressed as Kiana coming back into the game. And that is the shutdown blue side was looking for. I don't think they can pick up Drake just because they're a little bit scared of Caps coming out of base and slaughtering them. That's going to make the game pretty spicy. Caps makes his way down into the bot side. Whatever reward there, honey. There's no way this Ezreal is... He lands. Did he not see him go over this ward? This is EUS Challenger, but like, it doesn't matter what ELO. Players are just... I don't know what the word is, man. Just stupid, I guess. I feel like there's no reason for the Ezreal to die, but Caps picks up. Gonna get some more plates for himself. Dragon set up. And I do believe, guys, Nemesis it hasn't been playing Korean solo queue lately. He got out of his quarantine. He's been just hanging out and chilling with LS from what I've been told. Um, apparently, his, also his account is getting resetted. So he's going to have to create a whole new account in Korea and grind back up to the top of the ladder so he can get these good matchups. So it's going to be another long wait to get these Nemesis VODs. It kind of sucks, man. But I might go back and review one of his older ones. I've seen him been popping off with some Vlad. So maybe that's going to be the, the next review I'm thinking. And then I guess we just wait. Just because the matchup he the one matchup he had against Faker, just it was just complete crap. It was a 15 minute stomp. Nothing happened in the mid lane, just Jung diff as caps. 1v2s looking for the second kill. God. If someone picks us at MSI, if perks. Or should I make a Pixis? I'm gonna cream myself, I swear to it. No, I will. As we grab the side lane tower and we are going to head back to base. Second item. What are we on our way towards? Black Cleaver straight up purchase at 14 minutes. What the hell is this? How much goddamn gold do you have, good sir? These plates have been feeding you well. Moving to the top side. It's always going to be hard because the Fiddle Fear is just proper annoying. And the Rakan CC also. Caps has to be very smart with how he plays around these cooldowns. Ekram moving in. I believe this is Mirth. He is... I did live with him in Korea, actually, for three months. And Evelyn one trick. Not one trick. He plays other champions well, but he mainly plays Evelyn. But I think he's back in Korea. Must be grinding in high elo. Good player. Very infamous player, I believe. He has been notorious for some toxicity occurrences. Something strange coming out of an EU player. Kappa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As they're still trying to hunt off Caps in the side lane here. Level 12. Ekram has to ulti. I 
just looking to get out. Keanu Alt comes through, picks one up. Caps right in the middle of the team fight. Beautiful kick. You're looking for more. Ah, uh, but he's going to get uh, shredded down by the Gwen. Good flash. Huge by Gwen. Has the Nationalist Tooth. Interesting. Ali up in the top lane just doing whatever the hell she wants to do. That was a nice setup. It was just... I don't know, man. It just didn't seem like there was no... There just wasn't any follow-up. Go for it, Gwen. Show us what you've got. Come on, then. Yes, we drop down in the side lane. The one three one is decent for Caps' team. He uh he can't really be matched by anyone one v one, right? So they're gonna have to send two or three to try and get him. Hopefully his team responds well on the opposite side of the map. You don't have teleport, however, which makes it a little bit awkward to try and regroup. Stay with the yellow trinket. I know sweep is nice, but yeah, having the extra wards to get your W dashes off is too important, guys. You can't always rely on having controls, especially in the later stages of the game when you lose inventory space. I'm um, having that ward is going to be extremely efficient as Hecarim gets caught out. Huge fiddle lol. Heck trying to make his way out. Ultimates. Cap has a humongous flank. When? He has an idea. Caps moves in, gets a huge kick. We're going to grab up the fiddle. And he gets popped. And who's going to be victorious in this fight? Tristana hops over. Gets the Kiana. Absolutely tremendous. Good setup by Caps. Unfortunate to go down, but he sets his team up for the success. They'll pick up the second dragon for themselves. Technically a third dragon, but they're second. Triforce on the pony, hey? Feeling a little bit aggressive, are we? No chem tank. God, I can't wait for Hecarim and Udyr to be nerfed to the ground. I mean, I know Rumble at the moment is very strong, but I'd much rather see these Rumbles, these Lilias, um, than just bloody Udyr and Hecarim running. I cannot catch them, they're so fast. Piss off, please. Ooh. We're not spotted here. And we're feeling very aggressive. Hello, Kiana. Q E. <laughs> Dude, what is that? <laughs> what are those numbers? Didn't even look like you have to do anything. Just land a Q, get an E, and then an R, and you just execute them. Boom. Big man things. 5k gold lead for red side here. And we'll work our way onto the top side tower. This is how you do it, guys. You get the lead, drop into the side lanes, put the pressure points onto the enemy team. I love this. You can clear the camp and you queue back it. Uh -huh. But he didn't kill it. A little bit premature there my girlfriend would say but if i had one i don't have a, I don't have a girlfriend she wouldn't say that either maybe she would <clears throat> Got the clip. anyways so we drop back into the side and looking for some more 1v1s ultimate just has come back up q goes wide i want to see another bonkers lease in clip q's on the minions please take it oh If you zoom out, you can see the enemy team looking really collapse on caps. I have lost all traction of the camera control here. Flash up in 15 seconds. Expect him to try and get behind 
one of the carries, preferably the Ezreon, send that guy. Oh, Kiana. Bit of spots to lease in. I haven't really seen much of this Akali this game so far, but it's a very strong pick. Pretty bad ultimate by the Hecarim. Everfrost picks him up. Cap's making his way across slowly, I guess. They're not really fighting over anything at the moment. Big fiddle ult. How is Akali on level 12? Lee Sin. Caps is level 14. Gets picked out for seemingly no reason there. And I reckon Caps is good as next buy. Ah. Uh. Oh, I actually kind of like that. Damn, good flash by the Kiana as well. Tristana might be able to follow it up. <clears throat> Death Dance completed. Look at this build, man. And more lethality even. You do not want to mess with Lee Sin. As they're pinging the Baron, but I think Baron is a bit of a risk because of the Fiddle, right? When's Fiddle Lot? Fiddle Lot's in 15 seconds. Fiddle Gwen, like... Why does I say Fiddle Gwen? Fiddle Kiana. Kiana ultimates and Fiddle ultimates. No escape. I think Fiddlesticks is one of the best reworks. I like the champion's design. It's very spooky. Ocean Dragon coming up in 35 seconds. Very important for red side if they can get their hands on it. Oh, that wave clear on the E is tremendous. Caps, be careful here, honey. He can 1v1 the Gwen, but not the Gwen and the Fiddle. It's the right idea. Should move down bot side now to prep this Drake. Always through the mid lane wave, guys. Before this, like 20 seconds before the objective, go through and clear this mid lane wave out. If you can, pop a ward here, right? Because then you can see this team and you can see how they're positioning through towards the Drake. Otherwise, the wave's back here, you gotta clear it, then you gotta walk through here. It's such a bad spot. Mid lane wave, most important wave of the game. Oh my days, the AoE! Caps comes in. Not able to secure anything for himself. And Gwen gonna get the 1v1. Damn, girl, you're doing damage. And this could be... A 1 for 5. A 1 for 4. They did get the Drake, however. It means the Ocean Soul in 4 minutes and 40 seconds is gonna be... Of utmost importance. <clears throat> the question is, can they get the Nash in time? TP comes out from Akali. Tristana up in 10. They can. I just run the calcs in my head. They can get it. Let's see if Midbeast's brain is correct. Stupid Akali. Never do this. What the Akali should have done. Save TP number one. Number two is take all the enemy jungle camps and hard shove down a lane. Moving in 1v4 against Rakan Fiddle, you're gonna get CC'd and die. You, what, are, what are you trying to accomplish? You have no teleports on your team. Even in high elo, this is Challenger. People make this mistake. Don't, like, what clips? Are you trying to farm Synapse clips? Are you, are you a streamer or something? Like, what? Play responsible. Don't do high risk, high reward plays, okay? Do consistent plays that work, that are proven. If you want to win, of course. But at the moment, it is a, still a one point, almost 2,000 gold lead for Caps' side here. With the Ocean Soul coming up for them.
Oh, Cap's looking for it. Get the Gwen, get the Gwen, get the Gwen. Q lands, goes in. God damn it, that damage from Gwen is tremendous. They do pick up the kill. I think Caps could have done it 1v1, but the Akali comes in for the assist. I said, well, I mean, she took the kill. But you understand my phrase? What is the play now? We've killed one. Damn, these Kiana ults are actually ridiculous. Caps off in the side lane, but his whole team is getting bloody rinsed. Should you be grouping at this point? I feel like his team... Your waves are perfect. Like, why is his team so deep here against Kiana Fiddle? They're just running it. Are they not running it? Why are you running it? Taps in the side lane. He picks up a tower for himself. I think he's in the right spot. If his team just hovers back and waits for someone to try and respond to the pressure point, you're fine. Dragon in 1 minute and 40 seconds. It's got to be the most important fight of the game. Edge of Night completed for Caps now. Going to be much harder for them to CC him up. Edge is always a good item for someone trying to frontline. You kind of negate one person's ability to try and CC you up. Who scales better, Trist or Ezreal? Surely Ezreal, Lulu, obliterate Ezreal Rakan. No? Yes? I think so. Caps moves in, looking to get a little bit of a freaky flank on. On some vision, however. Hecarim topside clearing. 50 seconds for the Drake. Everyone in full preparation mode. Still about vision control here, right? Caps. Why? Cap. Like Lulu. They should be out here, like, trying to clear and set up a little bit deeper vision. Rakan's smart, though. Look at that. Nice sweep up. Times it well. Mid lane wave getting sorted by the Hecarim here. This is where the CS lead's coming. This is where the, the, the gold lead uh, well, was coming from. The farm in the mid of the jungle. Oh my god. What are you doing over there, Tristana? Akali... Trying to get out of the way. Watch caps, watch caps, watch caps. Looking for the Q onto the Gwen. Q goes over. Did it not land? Kick onto the Rakan, but it's not able to get anything. Going in 1v5, man moding, and they're not able to get the fight they want. This is just terrible team fighting by Red Side, correct? This is a one game. Hmm. It just feels like Caps can't quite get anything done because by the time he's ready to fight, he's already lost a member or two and everyone's in a bad spot. Enemy team grouping up and CC hits him in the face. I'm to redeem yourself, Tristana. I expect a pentakill. Are Kiana and Tristana related? They do sound very similar. Not sure. Seems like that, like it's like the same parents or cousins or something. <clears throat> Baron up in 40 seconds. Should be another fight there. Tristana needs the Infinity Edge. Akali needs the Void Staff if they want to continue contending these fights. Hmm. Caps needs to assassinate. Kiana or Ezreal will go next. Are you serious? Another guy caught out for no reason before Drake? Before Baron? Don't be this guy. You see Baron up in five seconds? Don't be the guy extending with no vision. For no reason. Although Caps is bot side with Baron spawning, which is kind of weird. 
I can't explain this positioning. Unless he was looking for a pick and thinking someone would try and match. Nice flash. Gwen goes in now. Gwen's level 16, mind you. His cap's trying to find something. Finds a Q on a Gwen's face, but she's full health. She's getting pretty beefy herself. Try and sort out the mid, the mid lane wave here. He knows red buffs up, right? I was thinking maybe you could camp out here to someone might come for the red, but I mean, the enemy team is just all on the top side, eating your base, my friend. We look for a flank though. Might be decent actually. Tristana picks up one. Picks up a second. Caps moving in now. Gets the kick onto the Gwen. Puts the Gwen into Lulu's range. Caps W's in. Q lands. Got to try and work around this fear. Gets the shot down onto Gwyneth in. Looking for one more. Is able to get it on the fiddlesticks. 10th kill of the game. 10 5 and 10. Nice fucking game, honestly. Dragon, 1 minute 20 seconds. It's still soul point for red side. Nice Q. And I was thinking might, maybe like a Guardian's Angel would be a nice last purchase, but... Maybe he's going to go Sterax. Yeah. It's a more defensive setup. I mean, it, it, it makes a lot of sense, I guess. A GA or Lord Doms, man, that would be some big dick moves. But probably the optimal play is the Starax. The, the extra shielding you're going to get because you're frontlining. It's going to make it much harder for them to burst you out. Kind of like a pseudo tank, aren't you? Thirty seconds. I want to see Caps get a really good flank. That's a great ward. Has to use that yellow trinket to piece out, which is going to be a pretty bad cooldown. Fiddle ult once again. Are these players serious? Beautiful Hecarim ult. Kali goes back in for grief. Q lands, but the Q's on Rakan. Feared up. Caps. These fights are over before it starts, man. It is sad. Enemy team got to run down mid here. Is it endable? It is a 5v2 at 34 minutes. Ugh, I think this is going to be a GG. Yeah, they're going to simply FF the game. Damn, I was hoping Cap's going to win that game, but at the end of the day, guys, I think that was a pretty good game to review. Hopefully, you've all enjoyed it. And until next time, boys, good luck in your lease-in games. Um, I'd probably recommend dodging if you get any lease-ins on your team um, that don't have at least like 20-plus lease-in games. Just check them on OPGG before you get in. But until next time, boys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.